avalanche lake. It's a uh, probably got to be, I would think, the most traveled trail in the park, just because it's open the longest, and uh, it's fantastic. It really is. Um, two and a half miles if you want to walk all the way to the end of the lake. About a mile and a half if you want to just go right to the lake. So I'm down on Trail of the Cedars, and this is a little um, conversation about. As you can see, I'm walking on this boardwalk and there's some people behind me and it's uh, really cool because the Glacier National Park Fund does a lot of this stuff. So these accessible trails are really a, an awesome way for people to experience a park who can't get out and hike a thousand miles. Anyways, it's just really nice that you know they've got a bunch of interpretive signs so you can learn about things and um, yeah, take the whole family. Take a stroller, take the grandparents take anybody that's pretty sweet of course you have the creek itself which just bubbles along and it looks really cool be careful not to stand too close to the edge um, people fall into that every year and bad things happen to them so you definitely want to make sure that you're being safe because honestly more people die of falling than they do of bears by a large large margin there is a crazy avalanche path that comes through and the really sweet thing about it is you can really see the power when you look at some of the huge trees that are just snapped in half and I think some of it's probably from the wind that gets created um, which is pretty ferocious so now there's a new view on the way up you'll find Eagleman spruce and cedars and hemlock so there's a nice nice bit of tree variety as always we have our big collection of birds which I recommend just listen a lot when you're hiking and just hear the variety of calls. It's really cool because, I mean, even amongst you know one species of bird, there'll be handfuls of calls. If you hear one, stop and try and see it and try and start learning bird species. That way you can start seeing what the crazy variety is. And uh, of course, springtime yields flowers and, and up, up here, because it's so wet, there's definitely some nice ferns and, and that kind of stuff. Waterfalls, waterfalls, waterfalls. There's so many wonderful waterfalls that fly down um, off the rocks surrounding Avalanche, even late into summer, but obviously the earlier the bigger. Overall, Avalanche is a great, great hike. It's uh, not too long, and so it's something you could do, you know, probably just in an afternoon or, you know, something like that. You know, just less than two miles from your car to the lake. Beautiful views, lots of wildlife, lots of cool undergrowth, and you know, keep an eye up on that left hand side um, right before the lake off of the shoulder of Bear Hat and look for a bunch of goats because they're a bunch of mountain goats usually hang out up there, so they're pretty sweet. But definitely love it. A lot of the locals will end up taking friends up to Avalanche because if you visit a little bit early, that's one of the few that's actually open. Overall, though, I definitely love it. I I've done it a bunch of times and it's cool and it changes a lot as the seasons change with it. So yeah, thumbs up.